Yeah. Hello, everyone. Uh, this is Maksud. Um, uh, going to uh, we are going to start today's webinar. Today's webinar will be on the CRM system of uh, WPVRP. Uh, so I will be expecting more participants today's webinar. Uh, me, let me introduce uh, myself first uh, in detail. I'm Maksud Rahman. I'm working as a product manager on the ERP. I'm accompanied by with my colleague. Uh, Mehdi, would you like to introduce yourself? Yeah, sure. Thank you. Uh, I'm Mehdi Hassan, working as a support engineer, WP ERP. So today's session will be covering uh, today's session cover will be covering on the year as I mentioned the CRM system. Uh, CRM, I believe a lot of people is looking for some sort of uh, a solution like how to handle the customer. So CRM is the best solution we have uh, that can deal uh, that we can manage the customer in a better way. So we will conduct in this session the two parts. Uh, in the first part, we'll be demonstrating the uh, uh, CRM, what we have right now uh, uh, on our ERP system. And, and the second part will be uh, answering the questions you, uh, you might ask. So we can see we have five participants uh, on this uh, webinar. Uh, we, we hope the more people join us and uh, and please feel free to ask us any questions you have. Uh, so shall we kick off? Uh, yeah, before uh, starting, yeah, I would like to mention, uh, mm -hmm. we keep uh, everyone as uh, mute just to uh, avoid the noise uh, mm -hmm. while having the uh, demonstration. So if you get any quick question, uh, feel free to use the uh, set option here. Uh, you can ask anything um, on, the, on the chat section. We'll replay all of them. Okay. Cool. So let me uh, share my screen. So to this session, we, as you mentioned, we'll be conducting the CRM system uh, on the UWP ERP. Uh, I believe we have gone through the HRM system on earlier webinar and today's session will be on CRM. Uh, we'll be supporting more, we'll be conducting more webinar in upcoming days and that will be uh, our accounting system and also the project manager. So as I mentioned, the CRM system we will be covering today. Uh, so let's kick off from, from here. So I, I'm not going to the how to install the uh, CRM system um, WPERP. Uh, I believe you will uh, you all know you will you can easily uh, uh, install this uh, on your lab uh, on your uh, environment. So in CRM system, you can go to from here. Uh, as soon as you go to the CRM, you'll see the dashboard. Dashboard basically uh, have the summary of all the uh, contacts, contacts, companies, and the schedule you have, schedule you have, and today's and upcoming days. Uh, for contacts, you will see we have divided few uh, categories in the contact, like the customers, leads, opportunities, and subscribers. Uh, you will also have the, the companies. In the companies, you have the companies, uh, customers, uh, that you can uh, categorize as a lead, opportunities, and the subscrib subscribers, subscribers. These basically are life stages rather than categories. So exactly. that would, uh, would be more precise to uh, address them. Right. So in the in the right hand side, you can you can see the today's schedules here. Uh, like if I made any schedule, it will see uh, on on the on the dashboard to uh, notify you uh, what schedule you have today, and with whom the participant uh, with whom and also the who will be conducting this schedule. Uh, you can also see the details here. If I click on details, it will jump onto the like the detail uh, for the customer. An upcoming schedule. Uh, this schedule will show like uh, the what events or what schedules is upcoming days. This just uh, it will if, if you have multiple schedule that will show up one after another. Uh, maybe uh, do you mind to uh, 
add here something? I mean, I, I, you are free to join me. Or yeah, kind of, of course. Uh, okay, you, can, you can continue. Okay. Sure. Okay. <laughs> then we have the recent added clients, contacts, actually. Uh, so in the contacts, we'll uh, have all the uh, all the uh, participants, I mean, of contacts we, in, in, a, in the most recent one will be listed as here, right? And then you'll have the companies, the most recent companies will be added here. You can see that when this context has been created, you, you can, uh, from this tool to be will notify that when this contact has been created. Uh, in the schedule page, you'll see the you know, today's uh, events, like uh, let's, uh, I have a, I pe I made a, a contact here, like a meeting at 12 p.m. You can see the other pe people uh, schedule as well. And in the bottom, it's here, you can see the inbound email. Uh, we'll show, show you later on how this uh, inbound email is showing up uh, here. Uh, in the customer statistics, customer statistics is look like something like that. As I am showing it, this one is from the local environment. This one is from the staging side. So you can see like uh, which customers in belongs to which area that will show up, up here. So we'll be back and forth. We're going back and forth between the local environment and the staging side, uh, just to demonstrate uh, better uh, to you. Well, uh, let's kick off from the contacts. How? Let me create a context first. Let's see how the context has been created. Uh, you see, the a lot of contacts has been created earlier. Uh, you can see the email address, phone numbers, life stages, and owners, and the created date. So you can also uh, you can also delete it in the bulk action. You can do the bulk action from here. Uh, in the, in the add contact, you add new contacts. You can create the contacts from here, like the first name, last name, email address. I'm not going to fill up this information. Uh, you can have advanced fields that will show up down here. Uh, so all the information you can need to fill up before you create a new contracts. Uh, you can also create the companies. The companies are basically that the, the Companies you will be uh, you will be dealing with. Uh, the, let's see how to create the companies here. Companies is also something like the contacts, but here difference is, is is here you can write the you need to write the company's name at the beginning. Uh, company's name and the email address and other stages as well. Uh, the, the difference is basically. Uh, the contacts is uh, for the single individual persons right. you are dealing with as a company right. and the companies are uh, the um, organization you are dealing with the, right. where uh, uh, a company can have a contacts you can assign a contact as a um, to a, to a, uh, to a company and a company can have multiple contacts uh, on your contact list exactly thanks for the explanation Mary. Uh, I can see that there are a lot of people is still asking for a few questions. Um, as you mentioned, like you uh, will be answering your questions later on. Uh, so I'm not, I'm going to skip it for, for, uh, right, for, for this moment. So deals, deals is basically, deals is basically uh, shows the, how many, this is the summary page, like how many deals has been owned, how many deals has been lost, how many new deals, what are the new deals here? You can see the dash, you can see the bar chart here, like the leading lead, leading number and so on, and activities progress and things like that. And also you can see the, uh, the stages, different stages, like how many meetings has been stated, how many calls has been say, scheduled, things like that. So deals is basically shows all deals. If you go to the all deals, it will show in Kanban view, like uh, how many different stages of any particular deals. Uh, you can move around the deals from one stage to another stage. Uh, let's, let's create a deal from here. Uh, you can get, you can add a deals from, you can add a contact, uh, contact name, if you need to type a three alphabets here, if you, if you match, then it will create right away. So let's say we see company, dealings name, this value, let's say it's $5,000. Uh, 
and the payment pipeline stages. If I put any stages here, the deals will be automatically go in that stage uh, from here. So ABC Corporation as a ABC Corporation deals has been created earlier on. The, 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 that was a four thousand four hundred thousand dollars and I, right now I've just created the five thousand dollar one and then I, I want if I want I can move it from around the stage, different stages and that will automatically calculate the amount here up here uh, you can have you can you can mark it as a win you can mark it as a loss you can mark it as a trash uh, you can you can put it in a trash uh, also, you can see the own deals, how many open deals are available at this, at this moment. You can see the, all the open deals are here. Uh, you can also see the own deals, how many deals has been owned so far. Uh, lost deals also be, I haven't lost any, I, I don't have any lost deals here. Uh, also, if I put anything on the trash, that will be here on the trash deals. Do you like to join anything with if I explain it in, in a generalized way, so uh, the main thing is these are the deal stages. These are customizable. You can have your own stages. We have some uh, stages in here uh, created uh, for the demonstration purpose. Like say, you are having a uh, deal with uh, a company, uh, like say ABC Corporation. So let's say the deal value is, uh, uh, 5,000. 5, you just created it. Uh, this is a new lead. It just came into your uh, deal section. Right. So you just added it. So let's say uh, you made a proposal for the ABC Corporation. So honest change for, uh, for, uh, for these deals. Okay. So uh, as you have already made the proposal, so uh, the stage is changed. You can move it to the uh, proposal made. Uh, Status. and the value also will be changed to the proposal made now you can see the total value of the proposal made section and uh, let's say after getting the proposal uh, they agreed and they uh, made the contact so uh, you can uh, you can uh, you can you can uh, then uh, move it to the next move it to the next uh, next next status the contact made and then let's let's say uh, you are uh, demonstrating your product to them mm -hmm. So you can uh, jump it to over to the demonstration section and uh, stages you have. Yeah. Let's say uh, we have negotiation and finally the uh, last test test. After the last test test, you are okay. uh, mark as this and as, as owned or, or lost. Yes. Yeah, uh, th th yeah. That's the stages you can move around. You can also let's not forget that how to uh, uh, you, you can also add more stages if you want from here, right? So you can add these stages from here. Let's. These are the stages that we have prepared earlier. You can also add it from uh, other stages if if you wish to. Then, uh, then next one is uh, activities. Activities is basically the activity logs, like uh, who have created uh, whose task or what any sort of activity that will be uh, that will be sheer pile up here uh, one thing i must mention i, I think i we, we have we forgot to show yeah. something right so this is the most, most crucial thing let's say jackie chen is is one of the uh, one of our clients uh, contacts so if you want you can you can see uh, you can you can schedule a meeting you can you can send him an email from this from this uh, platform like you can see the activity logs you can schedule some uh, tasks uh, you can schedule a meeting, you can uh, add some tasks, you can upload the documents, you can send the SMS from here. Like we need to mention here the SMS and the documents, these are the uh, plugins, uh, sorry, extensions you need to install. These are all the available extensions are available. Uh, these are the basically paid extensions. Right? So I will show later on like how to, uh, which extensions are paid uh, on WPRP. Uh, if I go to uh, these stages and add a note, if you want to add a note here, you can add a note uh, from uh, from this tab. You can send the email. This email basically inbound and outbound emails, right? So if uh, let me show you something from here, uh, like 
how the email inbound and outbound emails is showing up here. Let's say Mehdi has some uh, inbound and outbound emails. So all the email communications will be shown up here. So what happened here? Uh, Mehdi Hassan is a contact here as a person, your contact. So uh, you have inbound email configured. Mm -hmm. So uh, let's say you contact to all of the, your customers with, from a single email address from your company. Mm -hmm. So it's really uh, tough or uh, sometimes it's not possible to provide uh, a in single inbox uh, um, access to all of the uh, CRM manager or CRM agents. Right. So uh, what is the solution? Uh, inbound mail is the solution here. Yeah. So let's say, <clears throat> The contact owners, let's say, who own uh, this contact, Mehdi, uh, so he can check his profile, visit his profile, and send emails. Absolutely. So let's say uh, the contact owner, me, sent an email to Mehdi Hassan as a contact. Yes. Let's say, hi, we are happy to see you on the truck. After uh, sending the mail from here, the Mehdi Hassan uh, will get mail uh, to his email address. Right. So. Now, what will happen if the Mehdi answered to this to this mail? Mm -hmm. As I don't have that email address, uh, the, the email address we use to uh, contact with the uh, contact uh, customers. Mm -hmm. So here is the inbound mail voice. Mehdi replied to this mail. Mehdi wrote this mail to his uh, inbox and replied to this mail. This email will be uh, listed here. Come here directly. Right. Mehdi listed. Yes, I am loving it. Great job. So uh, you can also uh, reply it here again, mm -hmm. and Mehdi will get the reply may they can reply again so all the communication email communication you can do it uh, from this inside in, inside a contact profile right uh, so then the activity logs uh, you can easily understand the activity logs what does activity logs means all the previous communication all the activities have on this particular contact has been uh, logged up here and the schedule if you want to schedule a meeting you can do it from here uh you need to start you have a start date in that uh you need to give a uh, body uh, description you can assign a manager uh who can manage you can assign a multiple person here uh you can it can be meeting it can be called all sort of activity schedules has been created uh, can be created from here and if you uh, allow notification uh, those uh, part, um, really particular person, like say Mehdi Hassan and uh, the person you assigned for this meeting, uh, right. will get email notification uh, email immediately. Where, like say email, I, if I select the not notify by email, then mm -hmm. they will get the email. Also, uh, in some cases, if like say uh, to a contract or customer, you have a deal or NDA assigned, mm -hmm. so uh, you can have uh, uploaded to their profile uh, as well. So, so that, that basically work is document management. Yeah, like something like okay. that. Managing so the documents. It's a, so it can be like the PDF, Word, uh, PPT, PPT, all yeah. sort of documents. Excel, Excel, Excel CSV, file, CSV yeah. file, all sort of documents can be uploaded. Also, you yeah. can sort them uh, sort them in the uh, folder wise. Yeah. yeah. Uh, here you can see that, that you can create a folder. Uh, you can have, create another folder inside this folder. Yeah. So you can ha you'll have the Google, sort of like Google Dev option or something like that. Well, uh, then let's move on to the next uh, next part. Uh, did I miss something? Uh, uh, basically, these details is for uh, same for companies. Uh, yeah. Companies have profiles, and uh, you can do the same uh, for the companies as well. Mm -hmm. But main uh, difference is on, on uh, one is for individual persons. Like say, uh, I am contacting Adam. Adam is an individual person, so right. uh, Adam is a contact. Uh, of you, so you can have uh, him on, on the contacts. Mm -hmm. And let's say Adam is contacting from the Google. Mm -hmm. So uh, Google is not a person, he is a company organization. So mm -hmm. you can uh, add him on the companies. And you can assign Adam as a uh, as a repository of this company uh, he is working. Right. For. You can also have the options for edit this company information. Right? Yeah, uh, you so can uh, edit uh, this company as well. Yeah, you, uh, can you can assign the you. contact, you can have uh, different tags as well. Right. So uh, you are talking about the activities. These activities is for basically uh, for the CRM managers. Right. Like say you have thousands of contacts and companies on your CRM, right. and let's say you have uh, uh, fifty or hundred or uh, like say um, one hundred uh, CRM agents mm -hmm. who deals the who manages the contacts uh, your site have. Right. So as a manager, you need to monitor them. Uh, but it's really tough to monitor uh, 
by um, by checking individual profile all of the let's say you, you can have one can have thousands thousands of uh, contacts profile so it's really not possible to check all of the contacts profile uh, what uh, is um, our agents are doing is everything going well or, or something so uh, what is the solution for that so uh, here it is the managers can, can uh, check the activities so uh, uh, all of the activities happening inside your crm Using, um, including the deals, contacts, um, creating a meeting, creating a schedule, or sending an email, uh, everything happening inside your um, uh, CRM sure. that are doing by your either CRM managers or CRM, CRM agents. agents. Everything you can see here. Like mm -hmm. say, uh, you can see here, uh, Mehdi sent an email, email to uh, Kelling, subject, body, everything, okay. and, and everything happening on your CRM can be. It's Check basically your activity log. Yeah, like, activity log uh, to monitor your uh, CRM and to uh, check how your customer relationship is going on. Right. Yeah. Thanks, Mary. And uh, next, we we'll jump jump on to the schedule. Uh, schedule is basically uh, it shows my in, in this tab it can shows if 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 any tasks are assigned to me that it shows up here. Uh, in my local environment, that is, I, I believe I prepared some schedule, couple of schedule here. Let's say they, this schedule has been created earlier. So I can see my schedule up here. And also in the another tab, all sort of all other schedule that is assigned to somebody else that also is shown up here. So this is basically shown in, in a month view, in a weekly view, in a daily view. So, so you will have the options to see uh, the schedules uh, from this tab. Uh, contact groups basically shows up like uh, uh, like the, the, if you want to uh, if you want to uh, group the contacts in uh, that can be created from here. Let's say it can be maybe law materials con groups. It can be marketing groups. It can be the peer groups. Uh, it's very easy to create from here. You can write the name up here, description. If you want to put, keep it in a private, you can put yes or uh, no. If you don't want to put it in a private. <coughs> Uh, the email campaign is the most important one. This is a paid, uh, paid plan, uh, extension I, I, I should mention. Uh, to this email uh, campaign, if you want to schedule a bulk email from this CRM, you can send it from here, right? So it's, This is basically a newsletter tool. Newsletter tool, right. So you can put the right subject here. You can put the sender names, information up here. Uh, you can send, you can, uh, like I mentioned, the group, uh, contact groups here. You can send this particular. I think it would be good if we can create a uh, email campaign yeah, uh, just in this chance. It's a uh, new, new campaign. Uh, you have options to um, uh, to write the name uh, you want to have on the uh, as a sender and uh, the sender email and when the mail will be replied uh, where will, will it will uh, go and you can have it uh, either schedule uh, in uh, different ways immediately after hour or days or week uh, you can use the standard way standard way will be uh, delivered uh, instantly mm -hmm. like say i have a marketing um, a contact group which is i have the two uh, contacts already mm -hmm. so i am sending the um, newsletter to, to them Right. So in the next, you can uh, choose the different um, templates. Uh, templates we have available. So after selecting the templates, you will have options to um, yeah, customize and modify them. You can choose different images. You can choose design. You can uh, change your text and every, every, everything. So basically, it's customizable. Yeah, uh, it's template. totally customizable. I mean, so when you go, go next, uh, if you have in the Google Analytics, uh, Analytics, if you would like to track it, you can uh, insert the tracking code here. Uh, and otherwise, you can save it uh, as a draft or you can just uh, send it. Send if it, you right. send it, it will be um, uh, marked as in progress. So you can check the progress here, um, how many is delivered and how is the left. So deliver. basically, uh, I mean, if I miss any email, that will show up here as well. Yeah. If, if, the, the, if we shoot the bulk email, so it basically shows the how many emails has been sent, how many has been Yeah, let's like say uh, you have thousand uh, um, participants, a thousand email addresses to send this uh, campaign. Mm -hmm. So a uh, um, few can be failed. So you can check uh, the, uh, like uh, nine, 990 has been delivered and uh, five has been uh, failed. Yeah. So everything, everything will be listed here. Well, uh, let's, let's, uh, Let's go to the last section here. Uh, we'll be jumping on to the uh, our extension we have 
uh, later on. So here you can see the all sort of reports, the activity reports, uh, like the, how many tasks have been created, notes, schedules, things like that. Uh, here you can see the customer reports, customer reports also shown up here. As I haven't did that much, uh, uh, customers earlier, but you can, you can see that opportunity uh, leads, this sort of things have been uh, shown up in the report section. And growth report, growth report basically shows like the, it shows in the bar chart here, like how many subscriptions, opportunities, leads, uh, like we saw in, like we have seen shown earlier in the deals, that sort of things will be shown up here. Uh, and also it's mentioned as a January, February, uh, as a month wise. Uh, let's move on to the uh, uh, the workflow. I think maybe we'll take over from uh, workflow. Okay. Uh, thank you. Uh, workflow is basically a kind of automation system. So you can automate a few of your tasks based on the um, activities you have in the CRM. So uh, let, let, let's create a my campaign, a workflow. Workflow. So uh, let it the 30 minutes and when it will be back, CRM, let's say, created a contract and the condition is, uh, let's say, is a fast email or country. Say so country is equal to USA. So what will happen the action? And then SMS. It can be anything like email, it can be SMS, anything you want. Yeah, anything. So uh, basically the condition is, a condition here is in CRM, when a contract is being created, mm -hmm. okay, if this contract country is USA, yes. okay, then uh, fire this workflow after 30 minutes of creating the workflow. So it will fire an event to so what will uh, uh, what will be done with an event the event will send an sms to that contract with the um, message you wrote, message you wrote right here so it will basically uh, you can set different type of conditions here at multiple conditions here so i'm just uh, showing you in in, in general let's like say if you create a contract in crm if this contract has country in usa so, uh, so trigger this uh, workflow when after 30 minutes. This is just an automation process. So you can um, send send uh, email to the contacts, or you can assign any tasks, or you can trigger action news. This is, this is the development thing, mm -hmm. and you can update any fields. You can add any activity or send SMS. This is the basically uh, action you can choose now. So just to mention, this is a page uh, extension, right? Yeah, it's so a, it's a page one. Uh, this extension is not come with free, uh, free version. So we almost, uh, uh, the CRM system, we have few other uh, extensions. Uh, I need to, I, I think we need to show that uh, extension here. Uh, this, if you go to the WP ERP site and you choose the CRM, you can you can see the integrations we have: uh, the Gendex, uh, Help Scout, Awesome Support. Uh, we have integration with the e-commerce in, uh, in e-commerce uh, email campaign that that we showed earlier. Custom field builders. This is one of the popular plugin we uh, extension we have. Uh, we, we, we have a sync with the Salesforce document manager. Uh, I believe we have shown earlier uh, the SMS notification. Uh, for the time constraints, I, I, we are not going to show you all the ext extension we have, but I believe we have shown you some uh, popular uh, extensions uh, of us. Uh, this is a page one and, uh, and so on. Basically, uh, uh, we have skipped some integrations, the independent extensions, we have already shown them. Yeah. Uh, we just skip, skip the uh, integration with third party softwares uh, just to uh, make it happen in between the time as we have, we got a very short time, 40 minutes uh, only. Yeah. So uh, we just skip the integration. But this is integration is uh, basically, um, uh, for like say uh, in, uh, having integration with genders, having integration with help scout or some or some support and uh, 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 like this basically. So that's um, the email campaign. So uh, how is part contact sense? So I think we can conclude our first part. 
you do you want to show us something else? Anything else? Uh, we have covered most of the thing basically. So uh, well, it would be um, good if we get to the question from the uh, users as uh, we are already yeah. having already. Having we ten uh, we have ten minutes of question answer session. Please feel free to ask us questions. You have uh, we would love to answer your questions. Uh, first question to you, Mehdi. Uh, from uh, Martin, we have a question. Uh, for when you are ready. To Achha, please address how to simultaneously import both the companies and the contacts with the importing CSV file. And the question how can you view and perform the bulk actions more than at the contacts at uh, 20 contacts at a time? So basically, he's asking for the CSV upload uh, the contacts. And uh, importing contracts and company from CSV is available right now. Yeah. But sometimes I get question uh, from the uh, users so like um, they imported, but they, are, they they could not see the um, contacts uh, in the uh, contact list. Right. This basically happens when the import was not successful. The main thing is first name, last name, email. Th th these three fields are uh, a required field. So sometimes. Uh, I, I, I got this kind of issue. People are not um, uh, filling these fields and they are trying to import. But uh, I agree, we are, we are improving that fields. If any data field is missing, people, are, people ha ha and do not use. So it will provide warning, like say, you have uh, missed to fill this data to input. So uh, this will come very shortly. Yeah, we but, are our development team for is this, uh, At this moment, uh, it's available, it's working fine, but you just need to make sure you are uh, following the sample file format that uh, that it support and you need to use uh, or fill every fee, every column of the uh, So you are column. basically talking about the sample file, yeah. right? The sample file, you need to fill up all the information. All the, all the columns. Columns yeah. information, okay. So we have another question from uh, Martin as well. Uh, the contacts are on both the categories and uh, by their email address. However, you may also only have one email address. You cannot create both the company and the contract using and just one email address. No, basically the use case is different. Let's say, uh, Martin, it's, let's say you have contacts with WDFs, which is not me, right? So you can also have contact with me, which is me, Mehidi. So me, Mehdi, when you're contacting me, it will be an individual person, individual contacts. It will be your contacts. But when you co contact the WDF directly, not me particularly, mm -hmm. that will be your company. Yes. And and uh, I, 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 me, Mehdi, not, cannot be uh, have my multiple uh, accounts in your uh, CRM system, like say as a company and uh, as a um, uh, con contacts. Yeah. So, uh, with the single email address, you can have one, either uh, company or either uh, contact something. Right. Well, thank you, Mehdi. And next question we're jumping on, uh, that's from Chris. Uh, he's asking for, to, hi guys, can you, uh, you touch base with me after the webinar, please? Sure, sure. Sure, sure we'd love to do that. Uh, we'll definitely in touch, we'll be in touch after the webinar. Okay, uh, I think we can uh, close the display share. Okay. Stop display sharing. Okay. So this is the okay. And then we have uh, Nora. Uh, uh, just to answer the uh, Chris for um, the, sure, Chris, you can email us uh, anytime to directly to support at wperp.com or you can use our contact from have, uh, have, uh, on our website. So what did you say? Hi, um, I can you hear me? Yeah, yes, I can. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Um, I did email, uh, email support, but it's important I have uh, a meeting tomorrow. I know everybody else, but I have a meeting tomorrow that I need your support on. So if you could, after the seminar, come straight back to me, that would be great, guys. All right. Yeah. Also, uh, we can have a personal meeting over the Zoom as well uh, to, uh, with you. Uh, that will be can you send, totally with can us. You send me an invite? Yeah, can you send me an invite then straight after this? Is that okay? I'm sorry to rush you. No, that's this fine. Right. Uh, you can, Chris, you can follow the same URL after this. Uh, uh, no, basically, uh, are you going to say we have different URLs to take the, the personal meeting. So I'm sharing with, with, with the chat section. Uh, 
Thank you very much, guys. Yeah. Thank you. And we have a few other questions. So you're going to share those. Yeah, please. Yeah. Okay, we have few other few more minutes left, yeah, so we can cover a few. You can share it over. So anyone have uh, anyone is interested uh, to have a personal meeting with us uh, you can um, book a schedule um, on, using this link so uh, we'll have a personal meeting with you so we are jumping over to the uh, next question next question is can custom field be dated custom uh, field be dated. yes you can have a date field so can't you change the field category uh, uh, for companies from the email and the company name? Please contact me afterwards. Uh, sure. 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 Yeah, you can have a personal meeting with us. Please uh, feel free to um, um, take a schedule uh, using the link we have shared. Okay. So I think we have covered the, all the questions here, but uh, we have still a few minutes left. Uh, and we have a few other questions as well. Uh, we have a few other questions as well. Uh, let's jump on to the one by one. Uh, we have questions from uh, Nora, uh, Norman, sorry. Uh, I very much would like to know about the expert opinion on the, on which the Bitnami WordPress multi-site plugin is the best for the large enterprise to build an internet uh, on a dot app domain with my with many subdomains all using the gmail and google business source uh, app and a lot of crms an email with the internet uh, installation setup would be very much appreciated uh, so far i got uh, norman you would like to use wp erp in a multi site network uh, unfortunately uh, wp erp is not compatible in the multi site i mean under the network mode you can use it uh, on your multi site um, but uh, not in the network mode. You need to use it um, under a sub site or a single site only. Okay. And our next question is we have uh, the CRM, is the CRM rational? Relational, yes. sorry, my bad. Uh, my SQL is the relational, but in a program, can we link the referral contact on the another level of the, uh, them by type? Refer Jerry and Sue and Sue to Jerry. Thanks me to the ABC company. Uh, just a couple of uh, sample examples. Okay. Uh, so guys, uh, if this call hang up, uh, please join the uh, follow the link again. Uh, so we'll rejoin this call. Uh, continue from there. I mean, if you have any question further, you can rejoin. Uh, we will be. Uh, yeah, we'll be joining the call when we hang up in a, few, in, in a minute. So you can join back again. Okay, uh, uh, someone has asked if it is white label or something. Mm -hmm. uh, WPLP is basically kind of white label mm -hmm. already, but uh, with the, except its name, uh, you can change its name WPLP. So you can, WPLP is under the GPL license and you can change everything, but if you change the name of WPLP, uh, it will not be eligible for the support factor. Yeah. So uh, you can do it, but you need you need to do it on your own disk. Right. So that's that 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 that's covered the answer. See. Yeah. So let's let's hang up the call. Please you join again uh, following the same URL. We'll take some uh, direct call. Uh, direct Uh, if in this session, in this part, we're gonna uh, have a direct 
conversation. If you want to uh, uh, ask us a question, please feel free. Mm. Hi, Chris. Okay. No, no, oh, yeah. no, 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 You're right. Yeah. 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 Um, thanks for this, the webinar. Um, I'm going to see a client tomorrow. I think you've done a demo with me um, about a week or so ago. Um, it'd be great if you, if one of you could join me on, on that meeting yeah, and do a demo for the client. Um, they will have some, um, some questions. They have an old system, um, which is, needs, we need to migrate it to uh, WordPress. Um, we're also going to use uh, Woo uh, WooCommerce. Um, and we're going to use your system as their back end. Now, they have been quoted um, Salesforce yeah, as a solution. I personally believe that it's a sledgehammer to crack on that. I think your, your system is much more suited to them. However, however, I'm going to need a little bit of support from you guys, because obviously I don't know the system is going to shoot. Um, to answer yes, some of their yes, questions. Yes. Um, when we went through the demo the other day, yeah, in my mind a lot of the questions were answered. For instance, they use a lot of templates for email, email marketing. Yeah. So you got you know that that was quite clear um, in, in the demo that, that, you, that you just did today and the other day when you did it on a one so how you guys fix, or how one of you fix, could you spare me, um, I don't know, maybe 30 minutes, um, around about 12 o'clock tomorrow? Yeah, we can have a uh, 30, 40 or hour, uh, hour meeting, with, uh, if you, get, if you uh, can invite your uh, clients as well, so we can have a meeting with you and your uh, clients uh, along. So uh, we can introduce our system and we can um, answer uh, their questions as well. So uh, okay. you, you can you can take a call schedule to the link I have shared. Okay. Um, so it will be. I'm just trying to work out what time it will be your time. I think it's it's going to be about eight o'clock your time. <laughs> Basically, uh, uh, you are from the USA, right? No. From the UK. Yeah. So uh, basically, we are uh, based in uh, Dhaka, Bangladesh. So Bangladesh, yeah. It's almost 10 p.m. Uh, here. Yeah. So we have like six hours, six hour, six hour plus GMT time. Oh, right. Right. Yeah, yeah. So I'm I've started the meeting at 11 a.m. UK time. UK time, right? Yeah, UK time. By the time I've done the first part, I should, I, I believe it'll be around about midday UK time. So what's that? That's four hours, uh, maybe four hours from now. You said it's 10 o'clock there, guys, did you? It would be about 6, 6, 6 p.m. 10 hours He's asking for 6 p.m. Tomorrow, right? Uh, basically, yeah. uh, basically, please, uh, have you opened the <laughs> calendar I have shared with you? Where to? Have you just sent it? Yeah. It's basically a uh, book she do with us. Uh, basically, here is the time range we are available. Uh, basically, uh, we stay. Which, which address did you send? Which address did you send it to? Oh, let let me send you again. Send it to Christopher Dot Ford at. Uh, localiq.co.uk, yeah? This one? Yeah, this one. You can, you can find it in the chat box. I can see that, yeah. Oh. Uh, here is our available schedule, uh, basically. Uh, this yeah. is basically our office hour, so uh, we can have a meeting in the schedule. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna have a, a quick look. Oh yes, I remember this. I did this the last time, didn't I? Okay. I, feel, I filled this in the last time. Okay. Um, so, uh, we have don't, don't forget me this time though, guys. Okay, okay so... Um, 
I should be, I should do it. Okay, uh, we have another participant with us, uh, Princess. Uh, hi, Princess. Are you with us? Hello. All right. And I will speak. To, I'll see you guys tomorrow or whatever. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. 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 Thanks. Have a good yeah. evening. All uh, right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye. So, uh, so, so I think uh, we have another participant, but uh, if you any, if you have any question, please feel free to ask. Uh, we're going to cut this webinar uh, now. So I think we can uh, close it for, uh, for now today. Yeah. And if uh, the webinar um, participant got any question, uh, we are always open to hear from them. Uh, they can, uh, if you guys can uh, mail us uh, directly to support at wperp.com or you can uh, take a uh, schedule from us. And mm -hmm. we, using the link we have shared. Uh, I was doing. Uh, yeah, okay, Francis. Uh, you can mm, reach us anytime if you get any question further. So you can email us or you can use the contact form further. Also, uh, if you want to have a personal meeting with us, uh, you can you can use the link to take it the schedule. So uh, I hope this webinar was helpful uh, to you guys, and uh, we would really love to get you um, back over the. Um, personal email or over the contacts with us. Yeah, he's it's basically looking contact. forward to see the accounts webinar, uh, accounting webinar. Sorry, yeah. accounting web. Uh, will be. Uh, it will be in a couple of weeks and so. Uh, we'll definitely let you guys know when the next webinar will happen. This is basically encouraging me. <laughs> <laughs> he's yeah, yeah. For, uh, for the accounting. Yeah, <laughs> definitely, definitely. This is this is helping us. Uh, this is motivating us to go further webinar in future days. So um, I'm sure uh, which time it is to you, uh, as you are from, uh, from people from different places. But as it's night here, it's almost 10 p.m. So uh, we uh, we would like to say you good night and uh, good evening, good morning. Oh, we have a okay. <laughs> have a <laughs> Sorry, one one minute. The the time slots only go to eight to eight fifteen a.m. Yeah, you can take it. Um. Have you got anything later than that, guys? Yes, uh, any time available on that schedule, and you can take any, any one. That's what I'm saying. It, it, UK time is from 5 a.m. to 8.15. Uh, basically, Chris, uh, yeah. the time slot available on the calendar is our office time. So uh, it's, it's, it's the only, I got you. All right, okay. Um, in that case, um, it's too early. They, I won't even be at the meeting. Um, so I will have to try and, and do it myself, really. Uh, um, in, that case, in that case, uh, you, can, you can send an email to uh, me or uh, us at support.wprp.com. Uh, I will uh, stay at office after, after the office, office time for you so we can uh, have, a, have, have the meeting and we, without, without taking a schedule. So I think I can do a favor for, for you in this. Mm -hmm. Um, I can do it. Um, it's four hours after your last time. So, are you sure? Four um, hours after uh, my last time? <laughs> that would be late for me. <laughs> you, got, you got eight. I think your last time is eight. How, how are you doing it now? Do you, do you, do, uh, you, you just, you just the, come in specially to do it tonight? It's basically. Uh, uh, 10 p.m. here, so uh, we need to run. We need to go, go home. Uh, go, to, go home to your family. Yeah. Need to do. You know. I'll display right. okay. and drive online. I will. I tell you what. I will email you if you're there. Fine. If you're not, then, then that's also fine. I will go through it again tonight myself uh, using the demo. Um, but the, there's a couple of modules that are not installed, like the email uh, module is not installed. Um, is there any way I can get access to the full suite for 24 hours? Is, is yeah, that possible? Yeah, not only 24 hours, you can have access to it uh, for seven days uh, to our demo. 
Can you send me? Can you? Oh, that'd be brilliant. Can you send me that link then? Uh, sure. And then, then I'll be an expert then. You will get everything, every uh, paid and uh, so uh, if I, I thought that that demo. Let me just go there. I thought it only gave um, the bare bones. Yeah, it doesn't give the email in integration. Yeah, it has everything installed. So no, no, it doesn't. It, it, uh, some of the modules are not installed. Um, I installed the directory. Please navigate to the plugins directory and uh, enable them. It's installed, but maybe they are deactivated or something. Yeah, uh, I Please, basically, we need to. Uh, you gotta go. You gotta go. Yeah. I, I will speak to you tomorrow. Yeah. Right? I will, because I will come in early and I will speak to you tomorrow. Thank you, sir. All right, guys. All right. Have a good evening and thanks for the seminar. Good night, guys.